Welcome to our ultimate updated Bind Guide. Bind is a map that can be challenging to master, with its mix of tight corridors, open spaces, and teleporter. With the new changes to the map being live, we want to get you ahead of the curve when it releases for Ranked. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, our guide will help you take your buying gameplay to the next level. So sit back, relax, and get ready to dominate on this new and improved map. Before going over the larger concepts of Bind, let's talk about the new changes that Riot has implemented to the map. In patch 6.07, Riot showed the new changes around the map for us to look at before it's released to comp. The teleporter near the showers has now been moved closer to the doorway, which has also been changed to be larger than before. Both of these corners near the shower's entry now can be cleared without any utility because players no longer can hide in these 50-50 angles. The entryway into a site from showers has also been made wider, creating better opportunities for the attackers to push. Speaking of a site, the triple box has been altered completely, making it entirely wall bangable and planting inside of it even riskier. The back of a site also has received a new angle with the inclusion of a barrel and the back wall being moved up so that there is less to clear for the defenders retaking the site. For the B site, a lot less has changed, but the changes have a very high impact for the defenders and attackers. The defender's spawn entry into B site has now become wider as well, making it easier for defenders to funnel out into the site. This is further shown with a new window change near elbow which allows utility to be thrown to retake the site. Overall, all these changes are good for the map since before these changes, taking sites and retaking sites was almost always one-sided. Map control has changed so areas like Showers and A Short have become more attacker-sided and areas like B Long and Hookah have become more defender-sided. Bind as a map is unique in the sense that because it doesn't have a true mid-section, the extremities on the map are designed with the same impact as a mid. For example, B Long control for defenders is more important because it allows them fast rotations into showers on A retakes or for helping other defenders showers by teleporting and crunching the attackers. This means that early round control with utility or an operator will set your team up for the ultimate orb, an alternate rotation route, and a late round flank potential from market into short. Hookah has not changed much for defense, since the amount of utility that can be stuffed into Hookah from the A short teleporter in the early game is still oppressive to attackers. For attackers, this means that taking control of an area like A short or showers will allow more space and control for A site hits. A site has been changed so less angles need to be cleared, so the fact that attackers get first contact into showers shows the strength of controlling this space. Short control is important for attackers as well because of the potential to rotate and deny Hookah from defenders in the mid round. Oh, and by the way, if you like these kind of map breakdowns, map theory is also something Ye discusses in his brand new guide over on ProGuides.com, so feel free to check it out. As with any course, it comes along with the $8 a month subscription, and you'll not only get access to that, but also many other benefits too. Now on to the defaults. Defaults on Bind are arguably the most important aspect of how to play the map, since there's no true middle section for the attackers or defenders to hold. This creates different opportunities for goals and pacing compared to a map like Ascent, where mid control is key and you're defaulting. Positioning calls are typically from left to right side of the map and the side you are starting on, with stacks of people put into specific areas that are more important to whichever side you are on. For example, a normal attacker shower's default would be called a 1-1-3, since one player would be holding the B side of the map solo, one player would be holding short A, and the stack of three players would take shower's control. Typically, you default for these orb spaces on either attack or defense to farm ultimate orbs, making fast executions possible from usually difficult defensive choke points to enter. Defenders would see a more balanced default, but similar ideas might be put forward to either contest attackers or guarantee information and orb control for ultimate farming. Because of the changes to the teleporters, a 2-3 call would be better for defenders since they want the ability to crunch with the A players through the teleporter or throw supporting utility. Executing a site is typically done in either a rush fashion or after an early default from the attackers. The most ideal situation for execs are with executing ultimates, like Sky's Seekers, Fade's Nightfall, or Raze's Rocket. Comboing ultimates with abilities to take or deny space is usually the go-to for bind. For example, most people know about using Brim's Orbital Strike into U-Haul, but did you know you can use this split into A as well? Let's say defenders are stopping your team's shower push and they keep taking the space. Brim ulting the shower's entryway while your raised double satchels from short towards Brim's ultimate can allow your team isolated duels that they weren't getting before either on site or outside of showers. You can even combo Raze's rocket with the orbital strike to create a 50-50 scenario where defenders have to choose from walking into the Brim ultimate or the Raze ultimate. For B site, you can do something similar when clearing positions with initiators like Sky. A great combo is having her trailblazer scale up into Hookah or Long B to clear space or stun defenders. Once those defenders are stunned, pop that orbital strike and make it rain pain on those tight areas they can't escape from. The more utility that can be used in combo with space clearing ultimates like Raze's rocket or Brim's orbital strike, the better. Retake scenarios are much easier after the most recent changes, but the pathing for retakes may have changed drastically for defenders, especially for A site. When retaking A, you have to consider that all four of the entryways for retake have changed just enough so that you cannot clear the same angles as before. 
For example, when coming from defender spawn, you now have a headshot angle you have to clear from the bench sight line. You also still have to clear the angle on your left outside of spawn entry. However, it is easier than before since you can spot the player hiding here before they see you. From Heaven, the clearing has only changed around Lower Heaven, where the new barrel can create an awkward angle to clear. Coordinating with your teammate and spawn to clear the bench and barrel are your top priorities still. Ideally, you also want teammates either rotating through teleporter or a short to that way have three points of contact that attackers have to hold. Three or more points of contact make it so the utility is spread so you cannot get dumped before you get out of the choke point. For B site, the wider entryways for retakes allow more dynamic utility to be thrown. However, it also makes it easier for attackers to peek into spawn. Smoking one of the main choke points like Garden or Hookah with a smoke on top of the site tube will prevent vertical peaks that have been created into spawn. It will also allow your teammates to retake from the teleporter in short or the long flank from market. Finally, the when and how to use teleporters is the key macro skill ceiling for the map. If you rotate too early or too late while using a teleporter, your entire plan could crumble at the seams before it comes to fruition. If you are using the teleporters right when the round starts, be sure you aren't investing a full buy. For example, if you want to 5-man crunch into showers as defenders, you never want to risk 5 rifles into a gamble play like this. If attackers aren't choosing to fight showers this one round, you have given up B completely for a free plant, with forward positioning into your spawn you now have to clear. Save these kinds of plays for ecos or bonuses where your gunfights will be better for these types of close range fights. For rotations, Sage is fantastic for the new showers teleporter, especially since she can wall off either behind her to stop lurks from following her, or to the left of the teleporter's entrance so that attackers from short can't flank her rotation. Try saving her wall for when enemies are pushing or retaking rather than instantly walling so you can get a better value out of these changes. For the new upcoming meta, we recommend Gecko as one of the best initiators for bind. Consider this. Gecko's ability to recover all of his utility outside of his mosh pit gives him more strength on smaller, tighter maps like Bind. Flashing in areas like showers through the roof with a Ray's ultimate down short would provide plenty of information and distraction for the Ray's taking space into sight. And in addition to that, his ultimate is great for taking space in a hookah, short, or either teleporter for some insane trap plays. Ray's is still the queen of Bind, with the highest value for her speed, utility, and fragging potential. Her boombot has been hit hard, but still clears early peaks or tight corners before you peek them. It's also ideally used in combat, so throwing it over the truck on A-site or into the teleporter can get you some easy information. Sage has the ability to peek over smokes with her wall, retake from the shower's teleporter, stop pushes with her slows, heal her teammate to full, and resurrect them with her ultimate. She is perfect for the new bind. Try using her wall on the new barrel the next time an attacker Brim does close sight smokes. Brimstone is still the greatest smoke agent for bind, since he can split his three smokes for fast executions or hold smokes for fast retakes. His ultimate orbital strike still clears the most space out of any other ultimate, so using it to take sights or retake clear positions is better than an agent like Omen. Sky mains rejoice, this is still one of her best maps to play. Her flashes still gather information in tight spaces, her ultimate is dynamic for retakes or sight takes, her trailblazer still gets better information than Sovodrone since it lasts for a longer period of time. She's the perfect pick for filling that empty spot on a team. Chamber has gone down in the meta since his last update, but with the new sight changes, Chamber's power has gone up in scale. The new barrel area allows Chamber to have a teleporter in heaven with a better AWP angle. B Long still allows him to AWP better than Jet because of the trip and Hookah holding the flank. And his ultimate could allow for double AWP potential on the defense side. And that's gonna wrap up the guide. Thanks for watching.